Hi, I'm Sherry Rita from Wilmette Public Library. And I'm here to share with you today some great new books that get you asking, what exactly is normal? The first book I wanna share is a realistic novel. This one's available only in print. It's called Sarah and the Search for Normal by Wesley King. Now Sarah is plagued by what she calls her mind's games, including false alarm, which causes panic attacks, the lead ball, which is a feeling of heaviness, and the danger game, which makes her think everything and everyone is against her. Of course, it's easy to be paranoid when your nickname is Psycho Sarah. Sarah wants nothing more than to be normal. Her doctor wants her to refine that term. So you can read this book and wonder, what is Sarah's personal normal? She does get there. But what is Sarah's personal normal? And what is yours? Well, then there's Floyd. Or Floyd and Mike. Here you go, in a novel called Mike by Andrew Norris. This book is also available only in print. Although I promise I'm going to tell you about books that are available online, too. Uh, Norris specializes in books with supernatural elements, including... I Don't Believe It, Archie, and Friends for Life. This one is about a kid named Floyd who's a top tennis player on track to be the youngest player ever at Wimbledon. Until a guy no one sees wanders onto the court and gets in his way. Is Mike real? Is he like a projection of Floyd's desires? Or is he a puka, an invisible friend? Floyd's parents hire a therapist who helps Floyd begin to learn what Mike wants. And it's fun to see Floyd's relationship with Mike unfold. Things get complicated when Floyd meets a girl who can also see Mike. What does Mike have in mind for the two of them? This is a great book about mental health that also suggests there's more to the mind than meets the eye, in a good way. And I promise you, Another happy ending. So then, in the world of science fiction, I invite you to meet a compound character. Oh, his name is the same as the title. Felix X, Felix, there's the X, Felix YZ by Lisa Bunker. Now, Felix started out as an ordinary little boy until an accident at his father's lab caused him to become to become fused with a fourth dimensional being. So as a result of the accident, Felix is trapped in a pose that makes it hard for him to move. But he's gifted with the constant companionship of a super intelligent being. Felix and the creature are scheduled to undergo this perilous procedure to separate them. He doesn't know if he'll live through the procedure, but he knows that he won't live if he doesn't get it. So this book is his blog. And here, here's a typical paragraph. And this is when he goes to get some time alone to himself to think. The bus trip is like being trapped inside a can of air freshener. I ignore the little TVs and watch out the window, which I wish wasn't tinted. On the left, I'm on the left side, so mostly I watch other cars on the turnpike, wondering where they're going. I'm headed home and maybe going to my death but maybe to the rest of my life, too. And these people, they're also all headed toward their deaths or their lives. Every second that goes by, we're all one second closer to the rest of our lives and our deaths. I wouldn't call that exactly comforting, but it helps me feel less alone. It's fun to go on the ride as, he, as Felix wonders, are these his last days or the beginning of his new days? What comes next? And will he ever have a normal life with his crush, Hector? So finally, a realistic novel you can find in book and an ebook about different kinds of normal. This is called The Memory Keeper, as you can see by Jennifer Camicia. And it's about a girl named Lulu who has a condition called HSAM highly superior autobiographical memory. Have you ever heard of that? 
That's a condition in which you can remember every single thing that ever happened to you. It's sort of a blessing and a curse, and it's very rare. Lulu has HSAM, and she has a grandmother who's losing her memory altogether. So HSAM might sound awesome to you. It does to me. But Lulu hates that she can't forget a single thing that ever happened. It makes her feel like a freak when she just wants to be, you know, a normal girl. She's never told a soul about her HSAM, though her grandmother kind of knows. And now she wonders, is there maybe a memory her grandmother needs to retrieve in order to make her whole again? Luckily, Jennifer has one good friend and then two, both of whom help her on her quest to unearth her grandmother's mysterious past. Their quest leads them to a whole world of discoveries that Lulu is glad she'll never forget. So maybe Lulu comes to like her own kind of normal. It's an interesting question, isn't it? What's normal for you? And can you live with that? And what's normal for everybody else? Well, I'll leave you with lots to think about as you read any of these books, and maybe you'll find more to support your way of living a normal life, even in abnormal times. Take care, kids.